A spontaneous process is one that occurs under a specific set of conditions without any sort of external manipulation. So it's a process that will just happen naturally on its own without you needing to do anything to help it along. Some examples of spontaneous processes are rusting. If you leave uh, a piece of iron outside for a while, the environment is naturally just going to um, cause the rusting process to occur. Water freezing is spontaneous under the right conditions. So as long as we have a temperature that is at or below the freezing point of water, like let's say negative 10 degrees Celsius, water will just spontaneously freeze at a temperature that is below the freezing point, which is zero Celsius. A gas expanding to fill its container is spontaneous. You don't have to do anything to get that gas to expand. Organic decay is spontaneous. Um, so for example, if leaves fall off the tree and they sit in the yard, they will just naturally undergo the decay process without you needing to do anything. Water boiling. Again, this is only spontaneous under certain conditions. So if um, we are at a temperature that is higher than the boiling point at or higher th than the boiling point of water. For example, let's say 110 degrees. The boiling point of water is 100. So if we're above the boiling point of water, it's just going to spontaneously boil. Non-spontaneous processes, as you can imagine from the name, they are processes that will not occur under a certain set of conditions unless we do something to, to make the um, process occur. So an example of this would be water freezing at a higher temperature than what we would normally expect. So water freezing at, let's say, 30 degrees Celsius. The, the freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius, which means that it freezes at zero or colder than zero, lower than zero. So if we're above the freezing point of water, water is not going to naturally or spontaneously freeze. We're gonna have to do something to it to make it freeze. Uh, likewise, water boiling at a temperature that is too low. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius, so maybe if we were at 70 degrees Celsius, there would be a situation where water is not going to spontaneously boil. If we want the water to boil, we're going to have to do some sort of external manipulation to get it to boil. So again, these both are examples of a non-spontaneous process, one that would not occur without us doing some sort of external manipulation. These are all examples of spontaneous processes.